Hi, how are you? I am Joey and in this video of Joey's Tech, I'm so excited to tell you about the maximum path sum in a triangle problem which we are going to solve using dynamic programming. Now let's see what the problem statement of this problem says. There is a triangle of integers given to you. The problem statement is that all you need to do is find out the maximum total or the maximum sum if you start from the top and end at the bottom of the triangle. Now you are going to say why don't I add up all the numbers of the triangle and come up with the maximum total. No that's not the case because there always will be a condition to spice up the problem. What that condition is let's check it out. So the condition is that you can move down to the adjacent numbers only. Now we are going to see a graphic so that this condition becomes quite clear to you. Now here is our triangle. All right. So we have to start from here from three and uh, we have to go till here. And in this journey, we have to find the maximum sum path. OK, we are also going to find the path, not only the maximum sum. Now the condition says that we can only move to adjacent numbers down okay so at 3 we can move to either 5 or 7 at 7 we can move to 2 or 4 but from 7 we cannot go to 5 because 5 is not adjacent similarly from 4 we can move to 5 or 9 but from 4 we cannot move to 7 or 3 so this is the condition this is a very good problem and is in addition to our series of matrix math problems which we solve using dynamic programming i'm sure that you are going to enjoy learning this and that is why i urge you to watch this video till the end so now if you are new to my channel then hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon because that way you will get notified whenever i release videos like this in future so that you don't miss out on any of the learning provided by joyce tech we are going to move to the framework now where we'll solve this problem as well as formulate the algorithm how to solve this problem using dynamic programming let's switch to the framework now so here we are at our framework here is our triangle and i have converted the triangle into a matrix because this is a matrix math problem all right and uh, this is our solution matrix and here we are going to find the maximum sum path all right now if this question is occurring to you how this pro the, how the solution to this problem can occur to you automatically it is very easy i am putting down the links to all my matrix problems videos which i have solved using dynamic programming you watch them you solve them and the solution to this problem is going to occur to you automatically after that. That's how confident I am. Now let's begin solving this problem. So we are going to start from here. This is going to stay as three. All right. But from this three, we can move to either this seven or this five. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this seven to this three over here. Now this is our dynamic programming solution. So each of the cells we pass by is going to contain the solution of the sub problem solved till that cell. All right. So till now the sub problem is solved till here. Okay. Because this is the lowest sub problem. We move here. We add three to this seven. So that gives me 10 and it is greater than seven. So I put 10 over here. Okay. Now I add this three to this five. So it gives me eight. Now eight is greater than five. So I put eight over here. All right. We come here. Now from this seven, we can move to either this two or this four. Okay. So we are going to solve these two cells. So what it is going to give me if I solve this cell two plus 10. So it is going to give me 12, which is greater than two. So I put 12 over here. Over here, it's going to give me four plus 10. 
it gives me 14. Now 14 is greater than this 4, so I get 14 over here. So this is how the algorithm is going to interpret the matrix. Okay. All right. We move to this cell now. Okay. Okay. Now this cell can be moved from here, from 5, but we have to see one more thing. From 5, we can move to this cell also. That means we have one more value to compare. So let's first solve this cell and then we are going to move to this cell. Okay. So the value at this cell over here is going to be 5 plus 8. So that gives me 13. 13 is greater than 5. So I put 13 over here. Now let's again calculate the value of this cell because we can move from here to here as well. We can move from we can move to here from here, but we can also move to here from here. All right. So this is going to give me 4 plus 8. That yields 12. Now, since 12 is not greater than 14, and 40, hence 14 stays and 12 is omitted. Okay. So we have completed our matrix still here. Now let's move to calculating the value of this cell. So this cell can be reached only from here, like we saw in the graphic. Okay, so it is going to give me 7 plus 12. So that is going to give me 19. Since 19 is greater than 7, so I'm going to put 19 over here. All right. Now we move to this cell. We can reach to this cell from here as well as here. Okay, this cell can be reached from here as well as here. The value is going to be 5 plus 12. So that gives me 17. Uh, since 17 is greater than 5, so I put 17 over here. Now, since this cell can also be reached from here, hence I'm going to calculate the value as 5 plus 14. So that gives me 19. Now, since 19 is greater than 17, so I'm going to put 19 over here. Okay, let's move to this cell. Now, this cell means this cell can be reached from here as well as from here. Okay, so the value here is going to be 9 plus 14. So that gives me 23. 23 is greater than 9, so I get 23 over here. Now calculating one more candidate for this cell from here. So it is going to give me 9 plus 13. So that gives me 22. Now 22 is less than 23. So 23 stays and 22 gets omitted. Okay. We move to this cell. Now this cell can only be reached from here, from 5. Okay. So the value of this cell is going to be 3 plus 13 so that gives me 16 and 16 is greater than 3 so I put 16 over here all right and this solves my problem this is the solution matrix so tra by traversing this matrix in the last row I'm going to find 23 as the highest value and this is my answer this is the maximum sum path now, if someone asks you, find the path itself, how you are going to traverse the triangle, then it's so easy. So this 23, okay, came from this cell over here. So I am going to highlight this cell. From where this 14 came from, it came from here because the value here was 4 and here we had 10. So 10 plus 4 gave me 14. So it came from here. Okay, now where did this 10 come from? So this 10 came from this 3 because we had the value here at, as 7 and when we added 3 to it, we got 10. So we have reached to the end of the triangle, to the apex of the triangle and this is the path that I need to follow to get my maximum sum. So it's going to start from 3 then move to 7, then 4, and then 9. So if we add the values at uh, this path, then it's going to give me 
3 plus 7 10 plus 4 14 and 9 23 okay and I have got 23 as the answer now we are going to see the algorithm so this is the algorithm if j is greater than 0 that means if we are not at the first column then uh, try ij that means our solution matrix is going to be maximum of try ij and uh, try i min minus 1 j that means the cell at the top plus the value at the cell for which we are calculating the value of or uh, the value diagonally opposite plus the value of the cell now if we are at the first column itself then uh, the try ij that means the value of the cell is going to be maximum of that cell value or the value at the top plus the cell value so this concludes our video i hope you learned from this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video do give it a thumbs up if you liked it if you've got any doubts then you are welcome to put them down in the comment section i promise that i'll solve them within 24 hours i look so much forward to help you with algorithms and programming thank you and goodbye